guys, we're going to be trying out Winky Luxe new chandelier glosses. They launch three different shades. They're supposed to have a multi-dimensional sparkle and shine, and they're supposed to make our lips look really juicy, really glossy, and I'm really excited to try them out and just see, you know, how much of a shine and a gloss does it really give? You know, what makes them so different? How does it feel on? Does it feel sticky? Does it feel moisturizing? What? I hope you guys enjoyed today's videos. Everything will be linked down below. In case you guys are interested, please don't forget to to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. I do post videos weekly. And as always, let's jump on in and try these out. The first gloss we're gonna go ahead and try on. This one is called Gloss Vegas. <laughs> and I really love the name of it just because it's really sassy, it's fun. Who doesn't like, you know, a little Vegas moment? When you think of Vegas, you think of Sparkle, you think of Elvis. And so for you guys, I really love the packaging. It gives me Fenty Beauty vibes. I feel like Fenty you know, we keep comparing it to Rihanna, but I love the packaging. I love that it reminds me of like a diamond. Let me show you up close how she looks. And I love how shiny she is. <laughs> so that is really nice. Let's see what kind of wand we are working with. Oh, so it's a Dofa applicator. I love a Dofa applicator. So that is a really nice bonus. I love that it has like a little tip to it as well. Let me show you really quickly. There's a nice little fine point to it. It is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch her in the back of my hand. And oh my god, <laughs> this might look really like sheer or it's going to be like a light gloss, but let me tell you, she has a really pretty sheen to her. So this is a really nice, I love this as like a Christmas party, I know with COVID and everything, but you can always wear this for maybe next year just because I love the shine to it. This is such a mood, especially for the holidays or new year. It is so pretty. Love the golden champagne undertone to it as well. It is very, very pretty. And that was literally, you guys, with one swatch. So I can't wait to try this one on. So let's try on Gloss Vegas. Disco and this one is more of like a pinky shade to it just by looking at it from the packaging I'm gonna go ahead and swatch her on the back of my hand and oh my god She is very very pigmented. This is such a mood I feel like this would be perfect for like a festival of any sort So if you guys are planning to go any festivals, you know next year, maybe or you know keeping stuff saved when we're ready <laughs> to maybe pull, to pull out all the glitter and stuff. This is really, really pretty, so I'm rambling on. Let me just show you. Love the pink undertone to it. It is really, really nice. It is like so finely milled, you guys. It is so pretty, and I really love the sheen to it, so I can't wait to see you know how it looks on. But so far, it has a really pretty iridescent shimmer to it. it has like, in person, you can see like the purpley, orangey um, undertones to this gloss, so let's go ahead Ahead and try on Risky Disco. As of for the last and final lip color, this one is called Star Shakes. And you guys, I love it when brands just make makeup a little bit more playful and not so serious. Just because as an adult, life becomes so serious and you kind of lose like the playfulness of the side that we used to have when we were a lot younger. So I love it when brands just, just, you know, lighten it up, make it a little bit more playful because makeup should be fun. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch Star Shakes in the back of my hand so you guys can see, you know, how popping she is. <laughs> And let me show you, this is basically her. I really love this lip color, you guys. I feel like out of the three, this is the one I would probably gravitate towards the most, just because I love how neutral it is. It has a brown undertone, but still has like, I don't know what it is, it has like, it's like a rainbow and it's really pretty, it has like a gray effect to it. I don't know, I just really like, I don't know how to describe this, so I'm really, really sorry. But I love this color shade to it. I feel like you would have to see it in person to really get it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you guys, let's try on a Star Shakes. Watch me try on all three 
three glosses. Now let's go ahead and talk about them. So to be honest, you guys, I really love the packaging of these glosses. I love that they're fun, they're playful, they remind me of Christmas, they're like really holographic and spacey. I love space. <laughs> and this is such a mood. I really love the packaging. I love the dough for apple here, you guys, with one, you know, one little swatch of gloss that applies an even amount on your lips. It feels really nice and moisturizing on. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel drying. Sometimes when I feel like when there's glosses or products with glitter, I feel like the consistency kind of gets thrown off and I'm not sure if it's because of the glitter in it or what, but this one, I don't feel like it's, it's nicely finely milled that I don't feel like I have glitter on my lips, which I love that. I do love the sheen to it. It feels really moisturizing on. As for the glossy effect, I don't really feel like it is that glossy, but it definitely has a really nice glossy sheen to it. I feel like my lips look cute. <laughs> and I really love the mood that these glosses kind of give. They're really, really playful, really fun, perfect for a festival or the holidays or just a day that you just kind of want to amp it up and just play with a little bit of makeup and just kind of maybe boost the mood a little bit. And I really love that. As for $18, is it worth it? I definitely feel like it is, especially if you like things like this. It's going to give a nice little sheen to it that's going to make your lips pop a little bit more. And I feel like this is a really pretty topper over a lipstick, especially if you want to apply it in the center of the lips just to give it that extra little pout. It is really nice. And there is a small scent of vanilla to these glosses, by the way, which I really like. You guys know I'm really picky when it comes to scents to stuff. And this one is just subtle enough that if you get close to the wand, you will smell it, but not to the point that if you Applied on your lips it's like lingering I don't like it when it lingers I just want to smell it to enjoy it and then have my moment and then move on <laughs> so that is the only thing love how pigmented these glosses are you guys they're really pigmented it is really really nice and I love that the fact that it's really moisturizing and it's not sticky doesn't feel drying on the lips and there's so much pigmentation and the applicator just kills it I really love that I definitely feel like you're getting what you're paying for I just think this is definitely something you have to be in the mood for out of all three glosses which one do I like the most I would say it is gloss Vegas this one I thought that what is the other one called star shakes this browner purpley one was gonna be my favorite it's the one that I currently have on which I do like but now seeing it in person I definitely feel gloss Vegas is she cute, she cute. <laughs> She's my favorite out of the two, but I love them both equally. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please comment down below. Ask away and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And as always, I will see you guys all in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye!